Hey everybody, it's me, Bill Sysak, known as Dr. Bill. Welcome to another Master Pairings. I'm here with Noel. He's part of the Crude Brew crew. Yep. Um, it's a fellow uh, podcast that we have out here in Southern California that we're big fans of. Glad you can make it. Oh, thanks for having me. Uh, now, a lot of people when they first hear Crude Brew crew, they're like, are these guys just crude and rude on the thing? But actually, there's another reason why you guys call yourself Crude Brew Crew, and what is that? Yes. Uh, well, two of the two of us um, work in a crude unit for an oil refinery, so that's our that's that our makes connection. perfect sense to me. So yeah. I like that. But that's just a little. But, but we're also a little crude too. So all right, fair <laughs> enough. So it works all the way around. Um, so today I thought we'd do an IPA, and you know, we're here in Southern California. We have all these great IPAs. I thought I'd give a little East Coast love. Um, this is a very uh, enjoyable IPA. It's from Flying Dog. It's called Snake Dog. It's their 7.1% IPA. Um, and I wanted to do an IPA today because I want people to understand how versatile uh, an IPA is for pairing. IPA will, the bitterness in beer is great for pairing, period, because it really matches the sweetness that comes out in a lot of foods. Mm -hmm. But it also accentuates heat. So IPAs are great for spicy restaurants, you know, kind of Thai, Indian, uh, Chinese, uh, you know, even uh, sushi bars. And so we're going to have, I got some pretty hot salsa. Hope you can handle the heat. Well, I'll do and my uh, best. chips. And so we're actually going to try this IPA with some hot salsa and some carrot cake, which it actually goes really well for. I never for would it. have thought carrot cake so and IPA. So we're going to try both of these and see how it goes. So here, let me get this open for you. Thank you. Cheers, thanks for coming out to Cheers. Master Pairings. Really well balanced. As most beers um, east of the Mississippi are that are IPAs, they, uh, there are some people that do some really hot forward eccentric beers, mm -hmm. but a lot of the breweries do these really nice, well balanced IPAs, clean, crisp, great hops, but you know they just don't jump out and punch definitely. you in the nose like some of our West definitely, Coast IPAs. Yeah, it's definitely not in my face, but it's, it's good. No, it's a good beer, clean, crisp, great bitterness to it. So let's see how it holds up. I'm going to take you to the sweet side first, yeah. okay? I'm, so, I'm curious about that. Go ahead and try a little of this I carrot cake. I never would have put carrot cake and IPA together. It's a really nice marriage with the um, carrots. And then the, uh, you know, they kind of do this cream cheese, classic cream cheese uh, mm. icing on it. And it just plays really well off of it. Are you surprised? Well... It's, it's the the IPA. I don't know if it was the bitterness or whatever takes away the, the sourness of the cream cheese. Well, with cream cheese, what you get is you get this sourness up front, but the sweetness that hits mm. your mid and back palate. And like I said, the IPA, the bitterness in beer, all beers, but IPA <clears> obviously <throat> more pronounced, plays really well with that sweetness. So it kind of just makes it subtle. Let's the carrot cake, the carrots itself, and the cake just shine and it becomes this nice little spicy mix. Um, IPAs go really good, well with spicy food, but they also go well with spices. And a lot of the spices that are involved in certain uh, other uh, recipes of other countries are the big spicy, bold flavors that come out and that's why it plays so well. So <clears throat> IPAs are really good with stuff like this. That's a good surprise. I never I never would have put these two together and that's, it works. It almost brings out the carrots a little more. Yeah, it like. totally does. It brings out the, the spices that are used in making the cake itself and the carrots, mm -hmm. and, and it plays really well with it. So I'm going in. I like hot stuff, so All let's right. see. They said this was hot. Maybe it won't be. This is a... <laughs> Notice how it hits your palate. The IPA kind of just flows right over the front of your tongue, and then it hits that spice in the middle, and it keeps that spice going, the heat, the spiciness, I mean. Mm. It, it heat and it just hits it. I got it going across my tongue right now. It's really it saturated. Soothes the spice a little. It soothes it up front. Soothes then, it up front. And then it kicks in a little in the back. Yeah, exactly. And that's what's really cool about IPA and spicy food. Mm. Now these two, I would have thought. I always think chips mm -hmm. and salsa and IPA and you know that kind of food, but it's well, you really know, good. people that drink macros. They don't ever think about, well, I'm going to pair this fizzy yellow beer with this course and this fizzy yellow beer with that course because mm -hmm. they all pretty much taste the same and they just use it as a beverage to consume. Right. A lot of people do that whether they're having 
I like to pair spirits, for example, mm. with food, but a lot of people that are just bourbon drinkers will have a bourbon with their steak just because that's what they drink. Mm -hmm. Or they'll have a red wine with their steak, but they won't necessarily think, well, I want to have a cab with the steak, mm -hmm. and I want to have this pinot with the salmon and these different things. So they don't think about all those things, that, that they taste good because they go to a restaurant and they drink something they like. Right. But when you try different beers, try, get them to try an IPA. I think it will play really well when they come to these restaurants. I can't tell you how many times I've gone to an, excuse me, a great Asian Indian restaurant, seen beautiful bottles of red wine, <laughs> left half drunk on the counter because they just don't drink very well with those particular foods. Right. There's nothing wrong with the wine. The wine pairs great with certain dishes, mm -hmm. but people want to see this red wine on the list and they go for it. If you brought in your own IPAs, because a lot of Indian restaurants unfortunately yeah. they don't have your IPAs, but I found in California, at least a lot of ethnic restaurants have a BYO brief, bring your own beer, bring your own booze. So you can do that, pay a corkage mm -hmm. and bring it in and you can bring it. And I tell you, you'll never go wrong having this with spicy foods. Noel, thanks for coming out. Thanks for having me. Appreciate you coming. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks guys for watching another Master Pairings. Boom.